So this is the day that we finally start to enjoy India. When you travel the world for a year, you see and experience so much. And we want to share our daily travels with you. Unfortunately, a hard drive failure means we have to tell the middle a little bit differently. So, welcome to Storytime with the Happy Hoppies in this edition of The Lost Episodes. This is now our sixth day in India. And it, uh, yes, it took us that long to start to get used to the culture and all of that and just really start to love it. But not before we went ahead and we actually booked all of our stuff in the morning for our trip out of India and on to Thailand. I mean, then later in the day, we went to explore. But today we get to go explore all the awesome forts and architecture of Jaipur. City, um, because of the sandstone there to build a lot of the buildings it makes it look pink. Especially the old city part of Jaipur. So that's where we started off. We took a rickshaw or an Uber down to the old city and just started walking around there. We, there's lots of cool like city gates and like old buildings. And our hotel was in front of um, a fort and so we kind of could see that also from the outside. So some of the things cost money to go into and we didn't really take the time to do that or want to spend the extra money. So like we would take pictures of like the city palace from, you know, the entrance yeah. <laughs> before going through the entrance. As much as you could see without paying. <laughs> yeah, because there was so much to see that, you, that was free just to wander around. And, yep. and that's what we enjoyed doing, just seeing what you can see just wandering the streets. And then we got to, what was that really famous one? The Hawa Mahal. Yeah. The Hawa Mahal is like what you see on postcards or like most of the pictures on travel websites when you look up Jaipur. It's the iconic building from like the 1700s, I think. Uh, it, it's just really interesting, really unique. We got an Uber ride to the Amber Palace. And this one was really huge. It was way up on top of this hill, and you could you know, pay to go in and walk all these steps up to the top and explore the fort up at the top of the mountain. Uh, but instead of doing that, again, we just got into this courtyard kind of at the base of the fort, and you could wander around there. There were tons of monkeys digging through the trash in one part. Tons! Yeah. They were all freaky. I'm just like, I'm not getting close to that trash can. <laughs> And anyway, so we enjoyed just kind of walking around there. Lisa was doing tons of vlogging and just enjoying the view of the fort from the base there. It was great. And so we're like, ah, we don't need to go all the way up to the top.
like a little moat type thing. Um, and there were these animals that were like right at the edge of the water. Like and these little pigs, like little piglets, like baby pigs, you know, yeah. and then a bigger pig. Uh, we were watching for a while because I really expected a crocodile to come out of the water and get those because they were like right there at the edge. And, but we didn't see that happen. I'm not sure. I know there are crocodiles in India. I'm not sure if there are any in that region. It's, I looked online. It looks like there is. So. Yeah, we didn't see any action. <laughs> yeah. Got a lot more uh, selfies in that area again with um, Indian tourists that were there. And uh, so that was kind of fun. Um, we had talked a lot about that. Yeah, it's just, they love taking selfies with you. If you want to feel like a celebrity, um, just go to India because it's really fun. They just come up to you and like, selfie, selfie. So then we we're, we're going to try to hire a either Uber or a rickshaw to get down to this other palace that we saw kind of coming up to the Amber Fort. It was on the way back down to the hotel and the main part of town. Uh, it's this, this palace kind of in the middle of a lake called the Jal Mahal. And it's really pretty. I mean, you can see the reflection, of course, in the water. And then along the lakefront there, there were all these vendors set up selling, you know, different trinkets and souvenirs. And there was this one, maybe a couple spots where you could dress up in like traditional Indian garb and get your picture taken. And so we were just wandering around there, just enjoying seeing other people, just hanging out with their families. Cause you know, this is right after the new year. So a lot of families are out. Yeah. Probably a lot of, you know, nationals that are traveling as well and enjoying the holidays together. So there, there were kids too that, you know, were renting, I guess these little motorized, <laughs> you know, uh, plastic vehicles and driving around the lakefront there. So they were doing that. It was, it was just so much fun. It just felt very, very family friendly. So then from there, we got another Uber back to the hotel and you know walked the last little bit. We had them drop us off at the end of this little narrow alley because our hotel was at the top of a little bit of a hill and it's really narrow. And we're like, don't worry about taking your rickshaw or car or whatever through this narrow street. We'll, right. just, we'll just walk it. And at that point, I mean, after just a wonderful day of just, you know, relaxing, seeing the sights and just seeing the warm friendliness of the people there. Yeah. India had finally won our hearts. Yep. And awesome. we had an awesome dinner then at our hotel. Just the food there at the hotel was awesome. It was so nice to have a restaurant right there in the hotel. Um, and so that's what we did a lot when we were traveling to India, just ate right out of the restaurant there that the hotel had. And uh, yeah, amazing quality food. Like they had a chef there that like would come in, you know, for the certain hours and uh, yeah, it was awesome. And so affordable too. On average, we spent $2.50 per person per meal. And we would always get a drink as well. So that was like either getting a lemon ginger tea or a chai or something else. Um, so yeah, really affordable and just amazing quality food. We ate mostly a vegetarian diet when we were there. Yep. Um, I think a couple of times we did um, eat chicken at least once I think, um, but mostly just stuck to vegetarian uh, because we had heard some horror stories about eating meat. And then it was nice too, since we were ordering you know, our own little food portions, uh, we would ask too, like, you know, is something spicy? And if it was, you know, they, we would ask, just can you make it a little spicy? Like we don't want to kill all the flavor, but we don't want to burn our mouths too. And at least it doesn't like the spice too much. So yeah. it, it was perfect. They would do a tremendous job <laughs> making it just the right amount of spicy. Yeah, my spice level is medium salsa is spicy for me. Um, so in India, I was really frightened, but I actually really grew to love the spice there. It's, it's different than um, like Mexican spice. And so um, a little bit of Indian spice is just perfect. But it was so nice that we could, you know, customize like how much spiciness was in there when we were ordering our meals because back when we were in Agra and had that breakfast at oh, the yeah. hotel next to ours before leaving, they just had, you know, buffet style where you go serve yourself. And so they had made whatever they were making for everybody. And it was actually really spicy. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was burning your mouth. So after that experience, we we're really thankful that you can customize the spicy level. <laughs> yes. So join us in the next video as we leave Jaipur and start making our way to Mumbai. And it takes us a little bit longer to get there than we first expected. Find out why in the next video. See ya.